getting more voices. Subramanian Swami of the BJP joining us now on the phone line. Mr. Swami, how the mighty have fallen apart from Chidambaram going to jail. And as Navika was telling us, the arrogance really taking a hit here. It does look really bad and a big loss of face for not just the Chidambarams, junior and senior, but also the Congress party. Of course, uh, he was the leading light of the Congress party. And uh, he has the arrogance to think that he could send anybody to jail. And in fact, he has a lot of innocent people in the name of Hindu terror. He sent them to jail. And he was corrupt. And he's been caught uh, in, in cases of corruption. Uh, not one, but many. And this is the first one of them. And uh, therefore, uh, he has got a long stay in, uh, in the jail. Right now, he is in the jail in judicial custody. And after uh, a <coughs> day or two, I think he will be taken by the ED for custodial interrogation. And then back to jail again. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, this is Navika here. And Dr. Subramaniam Swami, I want to ask you this question as uh, uh, a legal expert. Uh, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, uh, is the Enforcement Directorate going to be in any hurry to get uh, custody of Mr. P. Chidamram or does he stay in Tihar jail for the next two weeks uh, till the judicial custody order uh, has been given for till 19th of September? No, they, they have already filed... Uh uh, a application for custodial interrogation and the court will have to list it. Uh, but uh, at the moment, uh, he is uh, being sent, I think, uh, for on uh, 14 days, within which time the uh, uh, enforcement directed application will be decided. Uh, Dr. Subramaniam Swami, another question that comes to mind is, in terms of legal strategy, how would yes. you rate the legal strategy of Mr. P. Chidamram and his counsels, uh, Mr. Kapil Sibal and Abhishek Manu Singhvi, escalating the matter of the Enforcement Directorate Anticipatory Bail to the level of the Supreme Court? Because once Supreme Court has rejected that anticipatory bail, is there any other avenue available uh, for any relief to Mr. P. Chidamram now? No, there was no. Uh, there was never any relief. This was just uh, they they exercised the uh, power of going and appeal to the Supreme Court. But in the process, they uh, tried to sully the reputation of a very honest, upright judge, uh, Neil Gore. He comes from a very distinguished family. His father was, in fact, Advocate General of the Congress government in Haryana, and uh, tried to make out that uh, you know he is on the take. And I think this has shocked the judiciary also to the level to which these people will stoop. And uh, having seven, eight lawyers sitting there, uh, shouting away, screaming away, I, it, it created a bad impression. I think that's where the bad, bad strategy was. And, you know, it, it made out as if that, you know, uh, he's trying to browbeat his way into uh, getting a, a bail, a, 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 or a preemptive bail. Dr. Subramaniam Swami, the other big uh, fact of the matter is that the Enforcement Directorate did submit certain evidence in a sealed cover to the Supreme Court uh, uh, in, in the matter relating uh, to the INEX media case. Uh, do you think uh, uh, this order of the Supreme Court is uh, really based on some of those evidences that have been put in the sealed cover and that means that there is enough ground for this case uh, really to proceed further in terms of uh, hard evidence being available? The, the, the same thing as in the, uh, the High Court. In the Supreme Court also originally may have seen uh, the Supreme Court Judge uh, uh, Ms. Panamati uh, was uh, making those query, queries which was looking as if she might give bail. But then after this uh, material came on record, and she asked for it, uh, to be fair to her, uh, she asked for it, the material came on, uh, on the, uh, uh, through the sealed cover, uh, she must have come to the conclusion that you know, he deserves to be in jail for some time. Dr. Subramaniam Swami, what happens now to the political vendetta charge that had been made by the Congress party uh, after uh, these uh, uh, rulings really that have come in from the CBI Special Court and the Supreme Court? Well, you know, these are all very stale. He had one and a half years of uh, uh, anticipatory bail. Did anyone say anything that uh, this is uh, the judiciary uh, is uh, submitting to him? Where was the political vendetta at that time? After he got it, uh, we, we did not make a, any appeal to the Supreme Court. So I, I think uh, uh, it, it, the Congress Party should now try and get something fresh. This uh, 
vendetta business is a, become a joke because they have been caught and they have been uh, you know they've been char- charged cheated that's a very advanced stage and uh, and uh, no court has quashed uh, any of their first they want to quash the fir the court in the tree then they wanted to quash the charge sheet that 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 that, 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 that court in the tree so they must come up with something else you see they should say that it is unfair for the bjp government to catch us when everybody is doing corruption or something that might uh, that might be something but that will be compliment to bjp maybe they won't say that well thank you mr uh, thank you dr subramaniam swami thank you for joining us with your first uh, reactions uh, on uh, mr p chidambaram being headed to tihar jail uh, 